In this video, we're looking at direct proportion. A directly proportional relationship is where one variable increases at the same rate as another variable. So the amount of lemons we buy is directly proportional to how much we pay for the lemons. If we double the amount of lemons we buy, we double the amount we pay for them. If we multiply the number of lemons we buy by five, the cost is multiplied by five. So here's a question. Three lemons cost 45p. Work out the cost of five lemons. So what we can do here is we can work out the cost of one lemon. So three lemons cost 45p. So three lemons are 45p, equal 45p. So if I divide the amount of lemons by three, the cost will be divided by three. So one lemon is 45 divided by three, which is 15p. So to work out the cost of five lemons, I can times both sides by five. So if I divided by three, divide both of them by three, then I can multiply them both by five. So I'm going to say five lemons, 15p times five, that's 75p. So my answer is 75p. Here's a slightly different question. So we've got four tins of beans and three tins of soup costs £3.68. Five tins of beans costs £1.60. Work out how much one tin of soup costs. So the number of tins of beans we buy is going to be directly proportional to how much we pay for the beans. So you've got five, I put five beans, five tins of beans is one pound sixty or a hundred and sixty p i can divide both sides by five so if i divide how many tins of beans i'm buying by five i'm going to divide how much i pay for them by five so 160 over five is 32 160 over 10 is 16 and double so 32p for one tin of beans and in the top line I've got four tins of beans so if I work out how much four tins of beans costs so I'm going to take how much well I can do five tins of beans take away one tin of beans or one tin of beans multiplied by four either one of those So to multiply by 4, I'm going to double, then double again. So double 1 is 64. Double 64 is 128p. So four tins of beans, that's £1.28 or, or 128p. And three tins of soup costs £3.68. So I can work out how much three tins of soup costs by doing £3.68, take away £1.28. So that is £2.40p. So that means three soups. Three soups must be £2.40 or 240p. And if I divide by three, so if I divide the number of tins of soup I buy by three, I'll divide the cost by three. So one tin of soup. 24 over three is eight. Add on the zero. So it's 80p. So one tin of soup costs 80p. Okay, here's another question. If you want to pause the video, give it a go, you can. Otherwise, you can just keep watching. So it costs £1.71 
to buy five apples and three pears. It costs one pound and eight p to buy four pears. How much will it cost to buy four apples? So four pears costs a hundred and eight p. So I'm going to work out how much one pair costs by dividing both sides by four this time. So one pair is, so half of 108 is 54, and then half of 54 is 27. So one pair is 27p. I've got three pairs in the top line, so I'm going to work out how much three pairs cost. So I'm going to multiply both sides by three. So 27 times 3, 20 times 3 is 60. 7 times 3 is 21. 60 plus 21 is 81p. So 3 pairs are 81p. 0 pounds, 81 pence. So to work out the cost of 5 apples, I'm going to take the total cost and minus... 81p. So £1.71 minus 81. So we've got 0 and we've got 17. Take away 8, which is 90p. So 5 apples equal 90p. I'm going to work out the cost of one apple, so divide by five, both sides, so one apple, 90 divided by five, so 90 divided by 10 is nine, double it, 18, so one apple is 18p, I want the cost of four apples, so four apples, So 18 times 4 or I could do 5 apples take away 1 apple that would work as well so 18 times 4 so I'm going to double it so double 18 is 36 and double it again 72p so 4 apples cost 72p